What's up? It is Tuesday, 10.07 a.m. I got this trailer going to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, left the yard yesterday. my YouTube channel uh, just want to share some things that's going through my head about this industry now if you watched my first video before I started this I was gun ho my second video about my first load great my third week did two loads it was great you know it was about twenty twenty seven hundred dollars for that week um, after fuel you know no it wasn't twenty seven hundred uh, after fuel and everything hell I want to say it was like twenty four hundred uh, I'll have to I have to look at it again but anyways it's not the point um, this is my fourth load. Found out very fast that if you're not working for a company that has backhauls, you're not gonna be making hardly any money. You might make enough to get by, but it's not worth The abuse that these roads give your truck and it's not worth the constant drive against wind I mean this thing is blowing me all over the road I don't know if you can see the video I'm swaying back and forth but this is the way it is unless you're going east you're going to be fighting wind no matter if you're going south, if you're going southwest, if you're going west, if you're going northwest, or if you're going north into Canada, you will be fighting wind the entire time you're loaded. So that means your fuel consumption is, it's shit. I'm at 9.4 mpg since I got on the road this morning in Effingham, Illinois. Um, this load is paying 2500 bucks, and it's about 1550 miles I want to say is what it was I'll be lucky to clear 1600 out of this run now you might think hell $1600 in a week sounds good it does on paper or just hearing it out loud but this doesn't work for me because I I go home on the weekends and I can't I can't make any money just one load a week if I'm wanting to be home by weekends god dang it I'm freaking swaying all over the place This is, this is what you got to deal with. People on the road, 18-wheelers pass you, sucks you in, and then it spits you back out whenever they pass you. So you got to, I have calluses on my fingers now, just from driving. Because you're, you're gripping the wheel the whole time. Um, so, my ideal runs are a short run east, pick up a load south of Texas if I could do that every week I'd be set or one long run to I can't even I can't, it's more acceptable than driving out west 
because I'm deadheading all the way the hell back home for free. I mean, not getting paid for it. Uh, that's that shit to me. Um, so if you're thinking about getting into this, do not drive for a company that does not have backhauls. Don't do it. Zero, zero recommending recommendations on doing that. You will eat all of your profits in maintenance and fuel. Um, there's a couple of companies out there that have backhauls. Go with them first. Uh, Bennett is one of them. Bennett is a trucking company, not just an RV transport. So they have they have stuff going everywhere and coming from everywhere. Uh, they do horse trailers, cargo trailers, those big portable restrooms for big events on trailers and RVs, boats. They do everything. So they have stuff coming and going everywhere. If I would have known that before I started this, I would, that's where I would have been. Um, Indiana Transport, I hear a lot of people hate driving for them but they have backhauls I ran into a guy at a gas station in Illa, Indiana yesterday when I left out uh, he works for Indiana Transport he lives down in Florida um, a lot of times they will have something for him to pick up along the way to Indiana um, he said not all the times but there's been quite a few times they've had that. Uh, he showed me their load board. Like Pinnacle does not have a load board. They're dispatch only. They're not forced dispatch, but they're dispatch only. You can't see what's what's coming up or what's at the yard. You can't see it. You have to call them. And they will play favorites. They will give the good stuff. You know, to, to people that kiss ass or whatnot, sleeping with them. I don't know what the hell. But uh, Indian Transport has a load board. He showed me the load board. They had tons of backhauls all over the place. Um, there's another one in Middlebury, Middlebury, Berry, whatever, Indiana. I uh, can't remember the name of it, but they're also a trucking company. Um, they have backhauls everywhere. So if you're going to do this, go with someone that has backhauls. That's the only way you're going to make money. So I'm at this company here, say they're 159 to 168 a mile. No. I've all, everything I've done has been 159. I had one load of 164 going to New York. And it wasn't worth it. I only got paid $1,000. And uh, out of that about 300 bucks in fuel not worth it you have to deadhead all the way back was not worth it at all um, so I told my wife give me 30 days in this let me see how it's panning out and if it's not looking like it's going to be worth it then I will I will get back into what I was doing or find something else and I'm reaching my 30-day mark and I don't look like I'm going to be staying in this unless I find unless I go with someone that has another company that has backhauls that's the only way I see myself doing it um, now on the flip side of this if you're one of those ones that can be out a week or two three weeks whatever without going home you will make more money than I do. Um, you could, I mean, still you're going to be a shitload of deadheading to go pick up your next load if you're with a company that doesn't have deadhead or backhauls. Sorry. Um, you will make more money. But me, for being home, family at the house, I want to be home on the weekends. This doesn't work out with my schedule. So there's a difference. Don't let my situation uh, 
to deter you from trying this, just be smart about it. And go with the company that works with your schedule. Uh, that's really all I got to say is, it's, it's a beating out here. There's no, it's not a joke. It's a, uh, it's a beast. Nothing's easy. Stressful. You think, oh, how can be just driving be stressful? I'm getting whipped like a redheaded stepchild by the wind. And my truck. Like I said, I might clear $1,700 with this run. I'm pretty sure it's done far more than $1,700 worth of damage to my truck. Just getting there. Um, so think long and hard before you get into this and do it right. Uh, that, that's the only advice that I can give. I didn't do it right, obviously, because I didn't know anything about it. Um, I did research. I did a shitload of research before I got into this. And I never came across companies with backhauls. I don't know why. I don't know if I just went looking for that. That wasn't in my head. But I never came across any of them. And I kicked myself in the ass for it. So I'm going to deliver this to New Mexico. I'm going to head home. And uh, figure some things out. Uh, because doing this one run like this right here. I'm not, I'm not doing this again. It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. So, yeah, leave a comment if you feel the same way or if you have any more questions. Um, I do my best to answer what I can and uh, help you out. So, everybody have a good one. Stay safe.